I am a strong believer that growth is painful. To stay in one's comfort zone is easy, but the only way to grow and change is through discomfort. And I don't know of anything more uncomfortable than Harriet and myself taking on state senator you-know-who and his fiance as clients. To be fair, it's also gotta be weird for the senator as well. I mean, he has to be in a room with his fiance, a woman he rejected, and a woman he... Ugh, I, I can't even say it. But anyways, like I was saying, to stare in the face of adversity but show courage and perseverance, now that is the stuff that true character is built upon. I am Emma Woodhouse, and by the end of this engagement party, Harriet and I are going to have a lot of character. Working with the Eltons is not going to be easy, especially for Harriet. She promised she could do this, but I know it is going to be really hard on her. And I can't live with myself if I have to see her be miserable. It is a constant reminder of what I did to her. But we are professionals and we will treat the Eltons engagement party like we would any other job. And we will take no prisoners. We will go for the gold. We will shine like the top of the Chrysler building. We will do, yeah, forget it. Good morning, Emma. Good. Holy high heels, somebody went shopping. I remember you said once that high heels can give you confidence. I think I'm gonna need some extra today. Good. Are you sure you're okay with this? I think so. I mean, I don't know. It's an engagement party for Senator Elton and my first job as event coordinator, it's a lot to handle. Do you want some advice? Always. Okay. Be professional, because that's what you are now. We are a team and I cannot do this without you, so I need you to push all those feelings aside and press forward. Don't do it for you, do it for the job. I'm here for you, we'll get through this together. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Where do we start? Uh, well, let's focus on today's meeting. Sure. When planning an event, you want to work from the big picture down to the little details. So when Caroline gets in here, what do you think we should start with? The theme of the event. I've already picked out some options and started organizing them into sections. There you go. I couldn't sleep last night, so I stayed up until 3 a.m. working on it. Show me. Oh, well, here are the most popular party theme ideas from 2010 until now. Mm, here are some more historical themes, and, and, and these are a, a bit more quirky and offbeat, but still really elegant. That is a great start. Thanks. I want to do a good job. And you will. Remember, you earn this position. You don't have to prove yourself anymore. But I want to show you that I can handle the responsibility. Good. Well, Caroline is coming in in a few minutes. Why don't you go up front to greet her? I will. We got this. It's good that Harriet is prepared and professional. I really believe she can do this. It's all going to come down to what working with Caroline is like. I don't even know if the senator told her what happened between the two of us. Not that anything actually happened, but who knows what he said about me. Or about Harriet. Then again, she might not know anything. <laughs> I mean, they've been together for so little time, I doubt she even knows what his favorite color is. Nope. No more assumptions. It is time to keep an open mind. I will treat her like I would any other client and remain professional. Emma, Miss Lee is here. Great, send her in. Oh, and Harriet, join us in two minutes. Okay, Emma. Hello, Emma. Caroline, welcome again. Please, sit. You're uh, comfortable with this? I'm documenting. Your greatness, James told me. I'm used to it. I love documentaries. Great. Well, I'm so glad that you and the Senator decided to choose us to have your engagement celebrations. Well, originally, I thought I could do it all by myself. I once threw a huge bash for my brother's birthday party. It was <sighs> very memorable. I'm sure it was. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, why did you choose us? Well, James insisted that we bring on some help, and he's right. <laughs> I'm the bride-to-be. It's my day. Let someone else do all the grunt work. <laughs> I see. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I hear you make it fun. I do. Emma, I have... Th oh, Harriet! Come in! Harriet is our event coordinator. She's come up with a ton of ideas for your theme. Hmm. How nice you have an assistant who can multitask. Good help is so hard to find. <laughs> yes, um, so I had some ideas going off of what I know about you and Senator Elton. He proposed on March 1st, right? Yes, he did. <laughs> So I was thinking about that, and then I remembered that California was the 31st state accepted into the Union. She has an incredible memory. So I was thinking that we could use California's history as a jumping off point. The Gold Rush could be a theme. The Gold Rush? 
Yes, but it's really just a metaphor for love. How everyone's searching for their own speck of gold and you found it in each other. <laughs> it's very creative. Um, I feel like I'm back in history class. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harriet has a lot of other ideas. She's a whole binder full of research. I look forward to hearing them. But first, could I get some coffee? Of course, we have a great selection. What can we get you? A small half-calf soy extra foam latte at 120 degrees, please. It's very specific. I'm a very specific woman. Actually, we don't have a thermometer, but, but there's a cafe around the corner. I'll be right back. Thank you, Harriet. <sighs> so, let's talk about- I already know the theme I want. You do? Why didn't you say that last week? Because I wanted to be sure. I'm sorry if that made your darling assistant do all this work, but when you know, you know. So I've heard. So, what's your theme? Well, James and I just adore Italy. I call him mi caro sposo. So, we were thinking uh, a Mediterranean motif, but just a hint of it. Can't stand anything too heavy-handed. Of course. Great, then it's settled. Oh, and we'd love for you to incorporate some deep burgundies. James loves that color. And I hear it's Emma approved. It is. I will be sure to pass that along to Harriet, our event coordinator. Is there a problem? I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I must insist that you personally handle our party. It's just, I've heard so many fabulous things about you. Oh, thank you. Um, but Harriet and I do come as a team. Yes, James told me you were helping her as a sort of side project, bettering her life. Yes, and it's better now. She doesn't need any more improvement. She's perfect just the way that she is. Well, she is a little slow with that latte. I thought the cafe was just around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making sure it's exactly 120 degrees, so, you know. In the meantime, I'm gonna pop in and say hi to Al. <laughs> Al? Very cute name for a very cute man. Okay. Just have your assistant bring the latte over to his office. I am so happy we are working together. Mm -hmm.